Hello, and welcome to a quick intro into the problem of deer overpopulation. Let's get right into it. What are the problems caused by deer overpopulation? The three big problems are crop destruction, spread of disease, and increased road accidents. But how exactly do these problems arise? Let's start by looking at a normal setting. The trees represent the forest, the crates represent crops, and these guys represent the deer. Now, when deer populations are lower, everything is fine. But as the deer become more excessive, we run into our first problem, crop destruction. When the deer become overpopulated, they will find their way onto farms and destroy the crops. It is estimated that deer cause nearly $1 billion in crop, garden, and timber damage each year. As the deer become more overpopulated, they will work their way into towns and urban areas. This leads to the second problem, spread of disease, specifically Lyme disease. Lyme disease is an inflammatory disease causing fever, muscle pain, joint inflammation, and full body itching. Lyme disease is spread via ticks. These ticks latch onto deer while they are in the forest and then the deer carry them to urban areas. Now the ticks can infect more people, increasing the spread of Lyme disease. Because of deer overpopulation, Lyme disease is now the second fastest growing infectious disease next to AIDS. As the deer expand more, they will get closer and closer to roads. This leads to more and more car accidents involving deer. More than one million vehicles collide with deer annually, causing more than one billion dollars in repair costs. So, how do we control this rise in deer population? Simple, we hunt them. The only effective way to control deer is to kill them, plain and simple. This involves organizing special hunting days, extending hunting seasons, and giving hunters unlimited rights to kill deer. By hunting deer, we can control the rise in deer population. However, there is a difference between good hunting and bad hunting. Bad hunting is poaching, which is not only illegal, but also causes a lot of excess deer meat to be left around to decay, because poachers don't use the meat, they just use the head. And poaching is selective, which means that it's not as efficient. Good hunting, on the other hand, involves buying hunting licenses, which funds national and state parks and forest preserves, uses all of the meat so that nothing gets wasted and is left to decay, and is not selective, which means it's the most efficient at controlling deer population. This concludes a quick intro into the problem of deer overpopulation. Have a nice day.